Trust me, let's think of possible people. Hey, so what are you guys up to? Uh, Davey's helping me track down the D-bag who started the rumor about me. Ooh, true crime? Count me in. I think I've got it under control. I don't think I'll need anybody else's help on the case. Who have you questioned already? One of the things I really like about the season is um, the way the show sort of struggles with like microaggressions about identity. Like Lee, for instance, with Aviola, it's about like, it was such a big deal for her to come out as a lesbian in the first season, but now it's sort of like if she's like the right kind of lesbian. You know what I mean? What's been your favorite sort of bit of like identity to explore with Fabiola? I would say with her clothing. It's really interesting how her clothing alone just tell a story. Um, Cause you can, you know, when she starts to dress more like Eve, you can tell that she's just not comfortable and it's just not who she is. And, you know, she, she likes wearing polos. She likes wearing a jean jacket or just some beat up Converse. And so that's something that I found really interesting, how much your clothes can really make you feel and make you feel like you and comfortable. Megan, you are new to the cast and to the school as Anissa, um, the cool other Indian girl who transfers from, from another school. Um, how would you explain who Anissa is at her core? Um, at her core, I think Anissa is a really loving, friendly, warm personality. I think she genuinely not only wants to make a good impression because she's a new kid, but I think it's just who she literally is. Um, and I think we see a lot of that play out in season two. So I'm excited to see how fans react to it and what they think. Horna, in this interview she gave to the LA Times, talked about how um, this is a recent interview. She talked about that, like, we don't usually cry this much watching comedies, um, but she feels like never have I ever sort of like, if you're watching it as an adult, you're digesting and like holding the grief or trauma or injustice or whatever that you went through as a child. Um, Lee, you can take this first, but like, um, what do you think about that? And like, you know, do you think your show can in some sense help heal people? I do, I do think so. Because even though it's a very, very funny show, we also touch on very real important topics and we do it in such a, I feel like in such a digestible way. And it's something that I feel like everybody can kind of take something from. And so that's what I really love about this show is that I feel like everyone, I mean, some people can connect with at least one character from the show. Megan, what about you? What do you think? I mean, you're new to the show. Did you enjoy the first season? Like, how did you feel as a viewer? Yeah, uh, I loved the first season. And I mean, season one, we start out laughing, cringing. And then by episode 10, you're like bawling your eyes out, questioning your entire life. You know what I mean? So, uh, and hugging your family. Um <laughs> So I think absolutely that's the power of, of arts, the power of TV and cinema and, and the power of comedy too, because so much of comedy is rooted in pain and like Lee said, digestible, but comedy just, you know, makes the pain a little bit more palatable, you know, and easy to watch. It's nothing greater than being able to laugh at yourself and your pain.